Hoshas have an extraordinary vision. They want to work in practical ways to help close the gap between the health of Indigenous Australians and the help of non-Indigenous Australians. And to do that, they are thinking nationally and have chosen to fund centres at multiple universities around the country. University of Western Australia, Flinders, the University of Sydney, and now the University of Melbourne. Greg has always kept an extraordinarily low profile, although a very, very successful businessman, starting his own transport company, working against the cartel many years ago, beating the cartel. Once Greg had sold his company, and we were very luckily in a very fortunate position and privileged position financially, Greg and Reg put their heads together. Uh, Greg and I had worked together for some years on melanoma, uh, and uh, we established the Melanoma Institute of Australia following his donation of 40 million. From there, one day, and I remember exactly how Reg said this, hey Greg. Why don't we have a crack at uh, Indigenous health? And Greg, who's always been keenly aware of Indigenous issues and rights, thought that was fantastic, and so off we went. The Melbourne Pope Centre for Indigenous Health is a centre which sits in the Faculty of Medicine, Dentistry and Health Sciences to bring all of the knowledge and skill of this university to bear on Indigenous health and development. Levi is the kind of student that we're hoping the Pope Centre will encourage to Melbourne. Levi is just currently finishing his first undergraduate degree and whilst the Melbourne focus will be on research higher degrees and PhDs, we can see that that's clearly a path that someone like Levi should uh, pursue. I think that working in health has always appealed to me because one, it's, it's a field where I think that the Aboriginal people in Australia, um, we need a lot of help but we don't need help from outside people, uh, we need our own people to step up and help out and to be professionals and to be professionals of the same grade and the same quality as non-Indigenous Australians. I think I became, even at a young age, pretty acutely aware that when we'd go to like the Redfern AMS, I wasn't seeing uh, blackfellas treating other blackfellas. I think leadership is something that you grow into but can also have accelerated and, ha and have leadership development opportunities and Levi uh, is an example of someone that we would hope to really contribute in this space uh, over the next five to ten years as he, as he finds his way in higher education. Come the 7th of November there will be a, a, a Pope Centre of Indigenous Health at a mainland capital in every state in Australia. We want the name Pope in Indigenous Health uh, to be emblematic with good health care. The program in the next five years will enrol 20 new PhD students in health. We'll also graduate through its leadership development courses about 100 uh, health science students in um, intense but accelerated leadership development opportunities. As the Pope Centres work together, I think the gap between Indigenous and other Australians in terms of health outcomes should be vastly reduced. Aboriginal people need to be on the same playing field with the same qualifications as non-Aboriginal people in health and in higher education. Greg and I believe that in giving through the universities, the best, best thing that we can do is to work toward the future. In the future are the young people coming through that will go back to their community and give back, be the future leaders, be the future caretakers of all of Australia. Five to ten years from now, I believe we will have doctors, Aboriginal doctors, Aboriginal health care specialists back in their communities, not only helping with the health issues, but helping across the board on all of the issues involved in health. As Greg has said to me, he has two achievements in his life that he's very proud of, the first being um, breaking the cartel, and the second is philanthropy and in his own humble way he said and I'm not even started yet.